What's up guys, it's Awana Turtle and today we have a very special opening. We are opening a brand new booster box of Ultra Shiny GX. So the box looks a little bit different, it's a little bit bigger, So and that's because this is the Korean version. Um, so yep, this is the Korean version and one really nice thing is um, it's a great way to get that experience. Also the box is bigger, it comes with 15 packs as opposed to 10 in the Japanese version. <clears throat> So we just got these in today, and I'm really excited to open it for you guys. Uh, one, one kind of, um, I kind of, I really doubt this thing is fake. Uh, looks very legit. However, there's not like a big seal across the entire box. There's just kind of like a, um, some like a sticker on those kind of like tape. But let's just see what we have inside. All right, these things feel very legit. I don't really know much about. Uh, Korean packs in general. This is my first experience. Uh, seems like there's a lot of empty space in here. And they do have that tab on the top to make it easy to open. So one thing about the Japanese boxes is that they have very set ratios where you're essentially you always get a SSR and then two SR cards in the 10 packs. And so this one being at 15, I'm not really sure what to expect. If it has similar ratios, different, or whatever. Uh, and also, and clearly I'm struggling opening the pack itself. All right, so, okay, so it does have like the English backs. Um, and the cards, oh, there's the hollow. Uh, okay, so the hollow's in the back. Um, I would say the car, ooh, these are very shiny. Very interesting. Uh, I'll have to do some research just to kind of verify that <laughs> there's nothing funny going on. But all the cards are very glossy. So let's see, we got a heat more, Snover. Ooh, very, everything is kind of like reverse. Um, Gabite, Hinky, Frost Rotom, Acerola. I think it's Acerola because I have the Catcher, uh, Altaria, and then Orangaroo with Instruct. Yeah, so all the cards. All right, so there's two hollows, um, and then everything else is kind of foiled. Oh, so it is very different though. So in the Japanese one, like every pack comes with like a GX, a Shadow Rare, and, um, and I think like a regular rare even. So yeah, this is um, this is very much a learning experience for me. All right, so I guess there's no pack trick. And so let's see. Wimpod, I think. Fire energy. I do like the energies, and every single one is kind of like a reverse. The unit energy. Uh, Mimikyu. Fire Rotom. Skateboard. A Heatran. And then a Buzzwall. I do imagine this would be very hard to counterfeit. Alright, on to pack three. So far, no GXs, so this thing is entirely different than compared to the Japanese set. Um, it turns into Dragadian or something. Dino, I think. Is it Dino? Swablu. Ooh, I, again, I like those energies. Cosmone. Ralts. Nice. Oh, so like this set. Is this set like entirely different? Um, Brass Memory, Xerneas, I actually don't recognize this art at all. Ooh, there's our first GX in Ultra Necrozma. As always guys, if you do want to support the channel, if you do enjoy the content, hit that like button below. Subscribe for if you're not already a sub. Uh, we are doing a giveaway when we do hit 100 subscribers where we're giving away a booster pack of the Japanese Ultra Shiny set. And we're getting very close. We're almost hit that nine, broke, broke that 90, um, 90 threshold on our way to the last 100. So our hollow is a, oh my gosh, I'm blanking on her name. Uh, not, not Cortana, not Celestila, Fermosa, Fermosa, all right. 
Hmm, I think I definitely like the Japanese set a little bit better. How they're all so loaded. Um, this feels like just like a normal, normal set. Like the cards. Uh, the fact that they're you know, all shiny kind of does play nicely with the this whole ultra shiny uh, concept. Let's see, so we got Finnegan, Dunsparce, Metal Energy. Still really like those energies. Cosmoan, Riolu, so Viper. Weavile, a is that DC or is that like a and then a Raikou and then Guzzlord. Alright, so we have a Whooper, Ivysaur, Psychic Energy, Raltz, and then Curlia, Una Energy, uh, Wash Rotom, uh, Mount Cornet, maybe, Type Null. Ooh, there we go. There's one of the SRs. So we have a Lolan Vulpix. Oh man, as far as um, the SRs that I want to get, this is definitely high up on that list. Very nice. I think uh, a Lolan Vulpix and a Lolan Ninetales is just a very. Uh, I think those are my favorite Alolans. Or my favorite Alolan species. Alright, is that a Zoru, I think? Uh, Torchic, then Blaziken, and... Ah, blanking. It's weird how, it's weird how, like, when you, when the names are there, and you can just, you, you feel like you don't look at them, but then when the names are gone, it's, <laughs> all of a sudden you can't remember. Uh, turns into Lycanroc. <laughs> oh, Lolan Diglett. Venusaur. Um, Fan Rotom. Water Memory. A Magnazone and then a Fion, uh, Manaphy. Very much not a fan of how the packs are glued together. There's a Petrisu Inke, Magneton, Alolan Executor, another one of those supporters, Darkrai, and then Marshadow. So I, I can't say I'm too crazy about this set so far, um, but if you are just as much of a fan as, ooh, that Eevee, um, <laughs> there's that other one with the full uh, If you're as big of a fan as I am of Ultra Shiny, uh, these, uh, these booster boxes are very attainable. On eBay, you can get them for about $30 or so. And what's even better is that the shipping was very fast compared to how long it takes for stuff to get from Japan. Okay, so we got a Rushy Ram GX. Yeah, so looking at these, um, yeah, when I see that kind of foil pattern, uh, these cards very feel very legit. Let's see, we got a Slugma, some eggs, fighting energy. I really like the energy. Ralts, Cubone, that's one of my favorites. Alola Marowak. Fire Rotom, Wishful Baton, Zygarde, and then a Zekrom. For this one, we have a Eevee. Look at that, how glossy it is. It's almost too glossy. Although I don't feel that way about the energies. The energies are okay. Curlia, Mimikyu, Weavile, Water Memory, and then a Magnazone with a Prism Star in the back. All right. Let's see, we got four packs left. Well, we have Bulbasaur, I'm a big fan of that art. Uh, Sneasel, Darkness Energy, a Lolan Doug Trio with their fabulous hair, a Unit Energy, is that a Frost Rotom, Frying Pan, Diancy, and then Celesteela. All right, let's see, we got that Wind Pod. Heat more, I think that's a Heat more. Rock Ruff, <laughs> Diglett, Alolan Executor, Quagsire, Heatran, ooh, there's our SSR, we have a Altaria. Alright, there we go guys. So far, if there's one more SR, then the ratios are uh, staying just the same as in the Japanese set, which I guess is, um, I'm happy to hear that. And I wonder if this is any indication of whether or not this set will be printed in English. I've heard no, nothing to hint at that. However, it's, 
uh, obviously not limited to entirely Japanese. Um, so I'm not sure how big like the Korean market is uh, for Pokemon cards, but it's interesting that it is being printed. Like these are printed in Korean versus anything else. So we have a Guzma, which is very nice. Hoopa, and then the Alolan Ninetales, fairy type. All right, so this is our last pack. I would expect a SR card in here. So the, I think the full art trainers are also in the SR variety. So let's shoot for that Guzma or Cynthia. I think that would be the best hit we can get. I think the gold cards might also be SR. Uh, so a gold Tapu Lele would be great as well. All right, for our last pack, we have a Gabite, Cosmoan, Grass Rotom, Rescue Stretcher, Ingo and Emmett, and last, oh wait, nope. Hoopa, and then our, for our final pack, Shiny Magnazone. Hmm, I feel like I pulled this in my um, Japanese pack as well. All right, so the ratio did remain true. Um, so for a booster box with 15 packs, we got two GXs and, oh yeah, these are definitely legit, guys. I can feel the texture. I'm not sure if you can really see it, but there's texturing there on this one as well. To uh, summarize, we had a Reshiram GX, Ultra Necrozma GX, a Lolan Vulpix shiny, Magnezone shiny, and then lastly, our SSR is the Altaria GX. So there you go, guys. Uh, it was an interesting opening. Uh, my verdict is the Japanese one is better. Uh, however, if you did enjoy that content, again, hit that like button to subscribe to the channel. Subscribe for future content. Uh, let me know in a comment if you're looking for code cards or anything like that. Follow me on Instagram, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.